Well, Wally Down, supposedly the hottest day of the year here. You've worked in hotter in India, haven't you? Yes, yeah, certainly did. We should be up in the 40s there, but uh, we try and regulate that so we'd start even earlier than we did today or later at night. But uh, I think we've done all right today. We started at nine o'clock and uh, we're all done by half eleven, so good enough. What kind of things have you got to look out for in this kind of situation with the man? Uh, well, today I did the sort of nastier side of the game, which is a little bit more functional about winning second balls and making sure we're challenging the midfield and our centre halves aren't getting easily knocked off the ball. So we've had a long period of uh, working on the balls and letting the, the lads have the freedom to play. But now we're getting closer. We've got to try and raise the intensity during training because uh, as much as you try to say play at match pace in games, unless the intensity is there and it's a real game, it's hard to replicate. So in short spells here, I feel I can uh, uh, put the intensity into them and get them working harder and doing the nastier bits in the game that, that uh, I don't care who you are, they happen and when they do happen, if the ball's bubbling around, you can't be the team that loses that. You've got to be the one who comes out of that fight with the ball to get us playing again. So it's not the most enjoyable part of training, but it's a necessity for games. So after the win against Met Police the other night, we're looking for a little bit more this Saturday now with a week to go, yeah? Yeah, but it's, as I say, it's difficult to, to recreate the intensity of a league match. Everyone knows it's a, a pre-season friendly. I don't want anyone to get injured. And uh, it's just about you know getting the, the energy levels up and, and getting the stamina into the players to compete the 90 minutes. The intensity of winning challenges and second balls and headers, uh, which you're going to have to do in this league, as we know, uh, has got to be done on the training ground. It's got to be done, you know, nastily by me, unfortunately. You're pleased so far with the way they've looked after themselves and the work of the medical team around here too, yeah? Yeah, uh, I said to the to the medical boys and, and the players, a successful pre-season would be me being able to select from the whole squad on the Thursday before the Rotherham game. And at the moment, we've only got one player out with a bit of an Achilles tweak, so we've had no soft tissue injuries, which are... They're the only ones that are preventable by uh, hydration and massage and looking after themselves and stretching right and prehab. So as long as we have no um, soft tissue injuries, I think it's a credit to the medical staff and the players why they've looked after themselves. So just to confirm, who's, who's not available for Saturday? Uh, nobody. I think everybody's available for Saturday. But uh, it was just I think Woody was missing today. He's had a little slight, uh, not a scrape, but he's, he's feeling his Achilles a little bit. So best for him to ease off of it for a couple of days. With a week to go, you're happy to sort of see how the plans are coming together off the pitch in terms of the squad? Yeah, I think we're just about done. We've sort of spent everything that I've been given. Uh, I understand that there's no more, so you know, you've got to, to work within the budget that we've got, and uh, I'm happy with the players that we've got in with the money that we had to spend. And after the session here today, now you, the instructions to the lads is, is to go and get plenty of rest, yeah? Yeah, you know, it does take it out. Yeah, in, in bursts like this, we've had two hours, and uh, they can put that in the bank for the first month of the season when it's very sunny and hot and uh, hopefully days like today where they've worked hard uh, will hold them in good stead for the start of the season. We won't be found wanting for fitness, hopefully. Wally, thanks for your time. Thank you.